Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's play a game together. together. All, right. All right, guys, I am very excited for this flash mob. I, I want to see it, and I want to see it work. And I want to see, like, 900 people in it, because that would be amazing. It'd be beautiful. I say, I, I'm also worried about that guy's shoulder who's on the uh, Dance Studio Central, because he looks like the way he is leaning slash pulling and standing, like he's going to pull it out of socket. <laughs> yeah. But that's just me. All right, I nod, and he dashes off towards a group of people. They're all huddled together, and when Teo approaches, they all give him hugs and high-fives. Everyone is in great spirits, and they're getting ready for the big moment. Teo grabs his boombox from where he left it earlier and makes his way up to the main stage. As soon as his foot touches the platform, the Funplex crew, who had command commandeered. commandeered Showtime stage, quickly springs into action. One of them... Ah. Wow, a screech? One of them runs behind the Showtime stage cabinet and unplugs it from the wall. The bouncy Europop that was playing is replaced with dead that was... silence. That's hilarious. Yeah, that was Europop. That's so... The whole record scratch. Ah! A collective gasp comes from the atrium. The other crew member pulls out a microphone from a nearby pack and hands it to Teo. He plugs a cord into the back of his boombox and brings it in close to his mouth. I... Max, are you ready for me to rock your body? This is the weirdest and most announced flash mob I've ever seen. I... Usually yeah. they just start. I mean, like, all the ones I've ever seen just start. Yeah. They don't have, a, like, an announce. That is kind of strange. Hi. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that! That's so good! The shadow people are here. There are cheers from the crowd as all the dancers are ready to get get on with the flash mob. The delight of the crowd is feeding Teo's energy and he's gulping it up. Definitely an... Uh, an Don't uh, turn away! Not even for a second! Eyes on me! Eh. Only on me! Look, there's another chibi. Yeah, I know. There is another chibi. Eh. I was gonna say, but it's, it's, he's definitely an extrovert. He is. Teo looks directly at me and winks. Oh my right. god, he's got another pose. That's yeah, adorable. Yeah, that's adorable. All right, watch me now! All right, Teo begins with a snap, and everyone falls into place. As Teo moves his body, everyone in the audience starts to mimic him. Slowly, more people join in. Oh, look at him oh, go! Oh, so good! A group of people after group of people. Look at him, Bob. That's adorable. What a cute convention. That's super All adorable. Right. Soon, the entire room is dancing, moving together like a school of fish. Uh but way more upbeat and not getting eaten by sharks. Huh. The music pumps into the atrium and everyone is feeling it. Teo leads the flash mob from the stage and he's putting his entire spirit into it. He's smiling from ear to ear as he hits every beat with utter precision. The con-goers who aren't participating in the flash mob have pulled out their phones and are recording the whole thing. Gamers are exchanging gossip and taking pictures. That's so cute. I'm sure I'll be reading all about this all over social media. Actually, you should be taking pictures. Uh-huh. Yes! I should probably post something about this on our face wall. I pull out my phone. Good job, Lies. Yeah! Like everyone else, and snap a few pics and video clips. The flash mob itself doesn't last more than a few minutes. In, and in a dramatic end, Teo jumps off the stage and into the crowd. The people immediately part for Teo as he strolls deeper into the middle of the masses. Strolls. This, they, I gotta walk. It, it is called, it is called a power walk. Yes. The same Funplex crew members that helped earlier are allowing Teo, are following, are following Teo with his boombox. Once Teo makes it to the center of the crowd, he motions for his friends to put it down. Uh, once again, he brings the mic up, which he had in his hand the whole time while he danced. Uh -huh, pretty yes. much. Well... Did you like it? And once again, cheers are up from the throng of dancers. He is really inexperienced at this. Yeah. I have never heard anyone survey people after a flash mob either. No, nope, It's a little wild. Teo claps along with all the bystanders. Thank you. All right. I was expecting him to keep talking. All right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Max, you are too sweet. You know, I couldn't have done this whole thing without the help of my friend. Lies. Ah. Uh, more clapping and shouting, only this time it's, uh... For me? They gave me encouragement when I needed it most. Lies, why don't you come here for a minute? Uh, me. I point to myself. I me. Mean, this me? Right here. Was like, he? not a different other <laughs> me. No, the other lies standing behind you. Well, given the facing Get of this game. Get your buns over here. <laughs> I was like, given the perspective of this game and the fact that I am lies and the characters lie a scandal, Technically, I'm behind them. So. It is true. <laughs> the meta 
is oh the meta is this real. meta is very real. <laughs> we, we're now talking to the man behind the curtain. I say yes, we are the, the woman behind the curtain in this case. I feel a couple of people like me push me towards that tail. Ah, uh, I look so bored. Just Boink. here I am. I feel like lies deadpans when they are nervous. <laughs> like that is the sort of the blank face when terror or nervous or overwhelm or anything. That is the coping. That is the. I, I'm, I'm dealing with stuff inside my own head. Uh -huh. Hesitantly, I made my way over to him. It was weird to be surrounded by that many people, but being next to Teo made me feel comfortable about the whole situation. Uh, it's good to have backup. Everyone, give it up for Lies! Uh, more, uh, <laughs> lies, people. quietly panicking. Are you gonna propose to me? I, you were ch I just, I barely know you. Know I, <laughs> oh God. Uh, now, I really all want you to listen to them. Like, really listen. It's an important announcement. Oh, God. Teo hands me the mic and leans in next to me, whispering in my ear. You wanted help with fun topy fun, right? Oh, God. Well, you've got the floor. Go ahead and tell everyone about it. Suddenly, I wish that I had had more public speaking practice. Uh, looking out at the masses, my chest felt tight and I could feel a bead of sweat run down my back. Teo smiles at me earnestly, waiting for me to speak to everyone. This was it, wasn't it? This is what I'd been asking for, to go out and do something for myself. I couldn't back down now. I had to do this for myself. I was going to prove to myself that I am not a duplication of my family. Hey. Mm -hmm. Nice, you can do it. I can break the mold! Huh? Mm. I took a deep breath and mustered every ounce of confidence I could find hiding within. I took the mic in my hand, blinked once, and began to speak. How's everyone enjoying their max? A good amount of wooing and cheering came from those around me. Ah, uh, step one, always get the audience on your side. What about that flash mob though? Fantastic, right? Uh, I know you all are having such a great time and why let it end after today? Next week, Francine's Arcade Funplex at the Twin Pines Mall is going to be putting on a special event and it's going to be one hell of a time. It's called Fun Toby Fun, and we need your help to make it as good, if not better, than Max. Uh, whoa. Aye. Whoa. We're gonna try and put 2,000 people inside that arcade. Forget it. 12,000 people. Yeah, that's fine. Right fun. in that tiny arcade. Just cram them in. Reasonable. Mm -hmm. Fine. Love it. Yeah. I also, I'm just like, I, I have this thing real quick where I'm just like, one, I hope your posters are available. And two, Fun Toby Fun's growing on me. It sounds believable. It kind of does, doesn't it, actually? <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy with that, honestly. Tail leans in to play the part of my co-MC. Sure. You had me at special event. Tell me more. Uh, the Funplex is a growing and humble arcade, but packed with the best games around and the best gamers around. It's our first big event, and we need your help to make it rock. We're having a Fist of Discomfort tournament, an exhibition event to break the world record high score of Moopy's Magical Maze, uh, high score competitions on every game in the arcade all day long, and we'll be revealing a brand new mystery game, a rarity you won't believe. But that's not all, right, Lies? And just for three easy payments of nineteen ninety nine. dollars oh. <laughs> nope. Right. Showtime stage is a huge part of the Funplex, and we owe Teo our thanks to that. As you know, he's cultivated his community to what it is today, at least I hope you know. And to celebrate that, we want to offer an exclusive event, the exclusive event to all you dancers out there. This special dancing event at Fun Toby Fun will be... Drum roll, please. God. Yes, it is a thighs! He does it, yeah! <laughs> Teo starts slapping his hands on his thighs to imitate a drum. Uh, and man, those are some sturdy thighs. Oh, a Showtime stage tournament, free plays for the entire event, a live DJ. Uh, I feel like without- Tournament. I was gonna say, it's gonna be a tournament. Yeah. I like, if he did this for us, I feel like, I feel like Liza's improvising a little bit, going, I'm trying to do this, but I didn't know what to say. So the only thing we got is what Teo's got, which yeah. is a Showtime stage tournament. Here we go. Yep. Showtime stage. Can't just have one tournament at Fun Toby Fun. I know how competitive those dancers get. We can do an official side tournament and have a cash prize with all the buy-in money. Gavin probably won't mind. Are we saying this out loud or not? We're oh not. dear, okay. we're not. It's perfect. Oh, we can't let all those fighting gamers get all the fun tournaments, can we? At Fun Topy Fun, we are going to have our very own Showtime Stage Tournament. With prizes! <laughs> Another roar from everyone in the atrium. It's so loud that I swear the windows shook. Huh. Fantastic! Everything you said just sounds amazing! I know I'll be there! 
Wonderful. I hope to see all your faces out there next weekend. I point to as many people around me as I can and hold up flyers, I hope, which I've been uh -huh. holding, cradling and hugging, like, for dear life, even ever since the entire convention started. I've actually been having a, 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 a wonder at that myself. I have actually been picturing <laughs> lies walking around with their arms. You know, So you know how there's a shy girl in school that's cuddling her books? Oh, yeah. Kind of thing, like that, around this pile of flyers. That, that Just particular like, stereotype. arms crossed, mm -hmm. holding the flyers. Now you've got a like, microphone. Yeah. Like, Teo is there, and it's like, hug Teo, drop all the flyers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hug Teo with flyer sandwich. It's fine. Him. Say, him. Gently stuffs the microphone into the crook of your arm. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, babe. <laughs> I got you. It's fine. There's several more shouts, and then naturally the crowd starts to disperse. And I didn't hand out a single poster. Yeah, right? As Teo and I were cleaning up after the flash mob, my phone in my pocket started going off. And we also plugged back in the music that we had unplugged, I imagine. At first, it was just a couple vibrations, but before I could realize what was happening, my phone started seizing. Did she post the stuff on, on your... Um, uh, your Face wall or whatever. Uh, you've, uh, yeah, something like uh -huh. that. I'm like, I think it's face wall. I think it's face wall. What the? I pulled my phone from my pocket, and when I look at it, the Funplex's face wall had over a thousand likes. Yep. No, really? What? The hell? Beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Can I interrupt? I might have borrowed the pictures and video clips you snapped earlier and applied the proper hashtags and links to the Funplex's social media accounts. Good work. Since the content went live, activity on the Funplex's face wall has increased 700%. The buzz about fun to be fun is off the scale. Ah. Hmm. Note to self. Invent a new scale. Uh, optimistic like that. I quickly scanned my own face wall, and even people I knew who weren't arcaders were talking up a storm about it. I also heard people around me discussing it. I can't wait until next weekend. That fun topy fun thing sounds like a blast! I am totally going to that fun plex place. <sighs> What's this mystery game they mentioned? Mm, it was great to hear all the buzz around the atrium, and Iris really helped with the social media aspect. I can't believe it was that easy. I drop all the flyers I'm holding. <laughs> uh -huh. Him, I am suddenly the bastion of confidence. I'm suddenly Sometimes... Back, yeah. That's all it takes. Him walks away with the entire crowd. Him sees you contemplating, walks back. Him, oh, <sighs> hang on, I come back. Yeah. All right, that was great fun, but I'm totally exhausted. I mean, uh, I guess me too. I, <laughs> uh, I me guess. too. I can not forget this maybe. character mm -hmm. sometimes at all. Yeah, but you didn't dance. I, I know. Hey, I faced my fears in front of several hundred people. If that's not exhausting, then I don't know what is. I'm for grabbing a $9 hot dog and a $14 slushy right now. Let's okay, do it! Maybe I can predict the character just not Good all the way around. Plus, I'm hungry. You could always go over to one of yes! the food vendors and play $12 for overly salted french fries. Or? Or? Well, there goes my appetite. You know, Gavin and Naomi are running a pop-up arcade for the Funplex along with some other local arcades in Hall B. Could always pop by there for a breather with some friends. How about I meet you there later? I need to debrief with the other leaders first. Uh, sounds good. Be seeing you. Wow. I wave by to Teo as I make my way towards Exhibit Hall B. I'm still hungry. On the lookout for Gavin's serious face or Naomi's kind one. I have to say, lies does not have that in common with me. If I'm like, I am the hungry, and then it's like, you could go do some other thing. Nope, still the hungry. I'm gonna go get food. I, if they don't have food at their booth, then I am probably not going to that booth. Uh, yeah, pretty much. On the other hand, Naomi's fed me before, so... Oh, eh. Let's see, Exhibit Hall B, it very much resembles Exhibit Hall A, C, Q, and R. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where I started my day. Industry types, dealers, swag, crowds, crowds, crowds. But there's definitely more actual arcade games here, as local places have set up pop-up arcades all over the place. It's hard to notice the smaller displays with the giant, garish Deco's Palace display eaten up the center. But I managed to crawl my way around the edges to find... <gasps> to find? Uh, oh, wow. Also, still, is she the... I need to see the back of other people's models. It's very important. That's really fascinating though mm. like queen bee is a part of the crew i was gonna say so I, is percy i think percy's just there to play and maybe we brought movie with us to advertise uh, and so he just came to play in public but maybe well uh now uh, pretty much everybody else in the crew save francine that's the thing i'm having going okay so 
I appreciate that you want to have more people than just our co fellow employees to date. And I like that some of them are arcade gamers, but I feel like having them just in the spaces that they're in doesn't always make sense mm. unless they're friends with the other people. And while they've mentioned being like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm around all this arcade all the time, it sounded more like they knew each other than they knew the employees. Yeah. You know, going Teo and Per Per. Yeah. Yeah, Per Per. Per Per. Per Per. All right. Teo and Ashley are still off hanging out with their respective communities, I assume. Uh, I've got some time. Maybe I can bend someone's ear for food. Meanwhile, let's see what everyone's doing right now. So, why are those two even here? I... Like, because there was no explanation at all to that, or, like, connection to it. I... Gavin's reading the news, bored out of his mind. Now he's fixing up a busted Galaga. She could use a break. They're actually advertising game repair? As part of their convention spot? I don't know. That is an interesting choice. Percy's oddly playing around a nibbler. Queen Bee looks worried and agitated. You know what? I'm feeling out of place and I'm a caretaker. I would go for, you know what? Let me problem solve. And you, Queen Bee, look worried and are the only problem I can solve. I, okay. That sounds like lies to me. I have no clue because I'm kind of with my friend right now. There seems like there's some level of like bouncing around in a way that I can't really understand. Now, okay, so I feel like I should clarify. So one of the things that I think is really interesting about characters in mm. books that they point out a lot, actually, is that characters in books or in media or in entertainment are really expected to be incredibly easy to follow. Mm. Like, they can't have a lot of hypocritical behaviors. They have to basically follow along and then also have very distinctive character growth or change, mm. whether that's positively or negatively. Mm. It has to be pretty accessible in that but way. But generally, it's a pretty linear character arc so that you you can follow it pretty easily. Right. And then when you compare that to real, actual people, people can be all over the place. You mm. can have one person who will say one thing one day. They'll say it another way another day. They'll say something else a different way another day. Like, they can go all over the spectrum as they basically are in different moods, have different experiences, mm -hmm. whatever else. Like, they can have generally, like, you can do know who these people are, but they really can just say something else. And it really can be completely contradictory, even as something they, they said five minutes ago, or even that they did five minutes ago. I say, what I'm getting here, though, is just the, what if we don't have connection to the arcade people and their customers being connected regularly, then, like, why are they here, specifically? Mm -hmm. And why only these ones, specifically? Not a couple of rando regulars as well. Anyway, um, but like, I don't think that being bored is something that Lies is going to identify as a problem. Mm -hmm. And Lies has identified themselves as a problem solver customer service person. Right. And if we show up here, I feel like Lies would go into customer service mode even if they didn't mean to because this is suddenly our professional booth. Um, she could use a break, but that's not really a problem to solve because she can do that on her own. Right. And then round of nibbler, Percy's doing fine. Looking worried and agitated, I feel like we'd be like, hey, there's our booth. You look stressed out. What's up? Right? Yep. Still still kind of got to go into work mode. Okay, well, yep. let's do Queen Bee then. Right. That's fine. Like, I was honestly expecting you to go for Percy because really? that would be the more chill thing. Like, going for a break. I was like, and I thought, and, and the thing is, is what I've gotten from Lyle so far with the um, poverty background as well as basically the way they try and, you know, caretake and support their roommate and also the um, self-starting, but also I don't ask questions and I don't do, you know, like job training or anything that they did when they first started mm -hmm. is really much this I am in work mode when I'm in work kind of thing. Thing. Okay. And also, when the game finally included, I can't dance because I'm on shift. Right. Because that thing. Queen Bee looks stressed out, just loitering around, not playing games. But not leaving the booth, either. Hey, uh, uh... Oh! Uh, hey, kid. How's Max treating you? I think you did this character, I was going to say, I'm trying to remember who did this character, and I do... It was do you. Not... No, okay. It was totally you. <clears throat> oh, hey, kid. How's Max treating you? Decently, and uh, you, you look, um, kind of frazzled. Mm. Who, me? Well. Ha! I am totally okay. I'm, uh, well, huh. Yeah, okay, no, I'm in the loser's bracket. M meaning? The big FOD tournament they're hosting here at Max, I advance from pools, but I'm in the loser's bracket. If I lose one more match, I'm out. Finished. Dead. Loser. I, I get it. I get it. <sighs> right now, I'm just sitting around waiting to be called up for my next match. Try not to worry and failing miserably. It sucks. It seriously sucks. Allow me to provide a service to our valued customer and distract you then. Uh, 
You want to talk? Wait. Oh, look! A distraction! I, <laughs> that feels I like. be the distract! Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? We amble around behind the fun facts display to a neat little corner wedged between two other industry booths. A good spot for a quietish chat, I guess? Well, we can have that chat then in the next one. So thank you very much, guys, though, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos. Uh, if you're having a good time with us, please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or our Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. <gasps> and, and it was, was great, great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.